What's good, YouTube? It's your man, BG Tech Life, and I got my Galaxy S10 Plus on deck. And for 2019, I'm calling this device the GOAT. It is what it is. We watched the Samsung Unpacked event beginning of 2019, as we all do every year, waiting to see what Samsung is going to bring to the table. And they did it again this year, guys. I mean, you can't not Samsung. They bring a strong S line every year. This is the ceramic white 256 gigabytes of storage version of the Galaxy S10 Plus from AT&T. Um, this phone is just a beast. Uh, I bought it beginning of 2019 and this is why I gave this phone the GOAT this year. Because Samsung dropped devices in the beginning of the year prior to all their competitors so they really not copying nobody um they they can't test the waters they got to drop their device and their device got to remain strong for the rest of the year so compared to everything that's came out after the galaxy s10 plus if the galaxy s10 plus is not better than it it's just right there neck and neck with all the devices that drop after at the end of the day this phone still performs like any other phone out there with the Snapdragon 855 processor. The display is hands down only second to the note with the goodness of the AMOLED and the vibrancy that you get with this display. It's not like anything that you're really going to see out here, including your iPhone. So at the end of the year, the phone still performs spectacular and has the best display out there only second to its big brother. In 2019, the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus still rocks a headphone jack. And I'm not gonna consider that a data feature. I consider that a perk. I still have a lot of uses for a headphone jack. Still miss the headphone jack on phones that don't have it. So yeah, that's definitely a perk. Uh, that's why this phone is on GOAT status. All in all, at the end of the day, there's no category that this device is not good in. This device dropped triple camera setup in the beginning of 2019. Dual camera front facing setup. Takes great pictures, takes great video. Has one of the best builds out there. As you can see, this is just a beautiful device. Has the best display out there, only second to Big Brother. Um, the performance is on par with anything that is released. You can get this device now on deals or on sale. Uh, at a very, very budget price compared to the phones that's dropping. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I just think at this point, people hate a GOAT. In 2019, people, when you're the best at something or you consider the GOAT, people always wanna challenge that and they get tired of a winner. So this phone has been winning for a long time. The S line has been the top tier uh, Android device for a long time. And I think people don't give us due respect because it's just been winning for so long and people hate a GOAT these days. But at, at the end of the day, this phone is a GOAT. It stands up in all categories, even if not the best in every category. It's still good in every category. Just a feature-packed phone that gets all the best features, wireless charging, reverse wireless charging, just all kind of features packed into this device. And it's still one of the prominent devices. I mean, one of the top dog competitors at the end of 2019 when it dropped at the beginning of 2019 and it fought every phone that came out and it's still the top, one of the top dogs out there. So yeah, Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, GOAT for 2019. So my BG Tech Life, I said it, you come fight me about it.